Hi, my name is Tom Herlen. In this video you will learn how to use the Atmega 328 as a standalone microcontroller. They cost less than two bucks, can do the same as your Arduino and make your projects extremely small. We will cover the pin layout, how to make it ready for your Arduino software by burning a bootloader and how to upload sketches. Watch the rest of this video to find out how you can make your Arduino projects smaller and cheaper in no time. For this project we need one working Arduino, one Atmega 328 microcontroller chip, a breadboard, wires, an optional, an LED and a 330 ohm resistor for testing. An Arduino board comes standard with a 60 MHz external oscillator. We don't really need this 60 MHz oscillator as the Atmega 328 has an 8 MHz oscillator built in. In order to make the chip work as a standalone microcontroller at 8 MHz, we have to download and install a library for our Arduino environment. To do this, click the link that matches your Arduino version to download the zip file. It will be either 1.6, 1.5 or 1.0. Next we have to find the Arduino sketchbook folder by clicking on File, Preferences, Sketchbook Location. In my case, see users TomTom Hale and Documents Arduino. This can be different in your case. Copy the location and go to this PC, paste it in the bar and press enter. If you see a folder named hardware, open it. If not, make a new folder named hardware by right clicking and select new folder and type hardware and now open it. Move the breadboard folder from the zip archive to the hardware folder. Restart your Arduino IDE and go to Tools, Board. If everything is ok, you should see in the list Atmega328 on the breadboard, 8 MHz internal clock. The most difficult part is done now, so let's have some fun pumping life in that Atmega328. These Atmega328 microcontroller chips usually come empty. To make them work with the Arduino IDE, we have to do something what's called burning a bootloader. It is a tiny bit of code we burn on the chip so it will understand the Arduino software. To do this, connect your Arduino to your computer and go to File, Examples, Arduino ISP and select Arduino ISP. Upload the sketch to your Arduino and disconnect from your computer. Next we connect the Arduino with the Atmega328, as you can see in the image. Note the half circle on the ship, make sure it's on the correct side. Now connect your Arduino and in the Arduino IDE go to Tools, Programmer and select Arduino SISP. Now go to Tools, Board and select Atmega328 on the breadboard, 8 MHz internal clock. Now go to Tools and select Burn Bootloader. Your bootloader is burned and your ship is ready to upload sketches. In case you have an error message, unplug your Arduino and repeat the previous steps. To upload the sketch you have to remove the Atmega328 chip from the Arduino board and connect your Arduino to the breadboard as shown in the image. I have connected the LED with resistor on the board to test the blink sketch. I will show you how to use this image so you know what pins represent what. So for example if you initialize pin 13 in the IDE it represents pin 13 on the Arduino board or the representing pin on the Atmega328 chip. And so on. Well you made it. You can now start soldering your own minified Arduino projects for next to nothing. I will end this video by giving you a few more helpful tips. If you solder a project you need to use a 28 pin dip socket 
and at, uh, at Mega328 after soldering the project. It is good practice to solder some male or female header pins to the three first legs, so you can still change or upload sketches if needed. If your microcontroller is behaving weird, you can add a 10 to 100 microfarad capacitor in between positive and negative. Make sure when you order the microcontroller chip that it is the Atmega 328P PU. Did you like this video? Please click the like button and subscribe. See you in the next video.